And I gotta tell you, the number one question that I get from people online is, where is Raven's mom? What are you doing? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> But what if someone actually heard you? So are you in touch with Takiya and, and what is that conversation like? Are we bringing her back? Takiya and I still have a lovely relationship. We talk, um, we don't talk all the time, but we talk enough to know that we're still in each other's lives. There's a call out to her as well. And Tanya Baxter is still in England. She is getting her full life as a lawyer and she sends money home. So thanks, mom. <laughs> How do you think we have this big house in San Francisco? Of a restaurant? I don't think so. Mama Baxter cutting the check. You know what I mean? Thanks for sending money home. <laughs> so no, don't worry about that. Thank you everybody for um, loving Tanya as well. We love her so much. And Takiya Crystal Kama is such an amazing comedian. I learned so much from her when we did this show in the beginning. So we definitely have to keep our fingers crossed. I'm sure at some point, you know, um, everybody will come back. That's just the way it goes. And I hear there's rumors of Takiya even coming back. Yes, Tanya, that'd be cool. Are we gonna get some answers? Are we gonna see her? Are we gonna find out what she's doing, where she is? There's a upcoming episode that it's mentioned and talked about. Okay. Um, but that's all I can say. So Vic is still married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vic is still married. Okay, mm -hmm. good to know. Right. What's she up to? What can you tease? There'll be some mention about it, okay. and it'll leave you just as confused. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we hear about all the other characters, and yeah. she's the one that yeah. it's kind of like the, the question mark that's right. still remaining. Right. People ask, people right. ask, and I go, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, are yeah. you are you friendly with Takia in real life? Um, uh, yes, but I haven't talked to her in a long time. Okay. Yeah. So it's not like you're texting her like, we got to get you back here, we got to get some answers. I would love for her to have her back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If. If you could, if you could tease in maybe an adjective or two, how that storyline might tie up, what would you say? Once upon a time, there was a, a king and a queen. This will make sense when you see the episode. Okay. Yeah. A king, hopefully, a king and a queen reunited. There's a king and a queen. They live in king, kingdoms. Thanks, babe. Couldn't have done it without you. You're always there for me. Gotcha. Oh. What's up with that? So season five, are you watching Raven's Home? Of course, of course I'm watching Raven's Home. <laughs> yeah, I gotta make sure Rondell is holding down the fort and that he's funny, not funnier than me, no. but funny. No, no, never, never, never. You're all funny in your own unique ways. And of course the fans miss you and they miss your on-screen son and, and Tess. Are you in touch with the old cast? Are you are you trying to wrangle them over here and put them in this episode? <laughs> You're so sweet, I know, I know. I'm sure at some point, you know, um, everybody will come back. That's just the way it goes. And Jason and I see each other all the time. I mean, he is like an extension of me now and I do feel like a second mother and we have dinners and stuff. Sky's in New York, so it's a little harder. And she's busy being a music queen and, you know, an Instagram star, so. But um, we'll be back together again. Disney doesn't let you go. What does that mean to you to be reunited with your former cast member? Oh my God, Liska's the best in the whole wide world. We love Annalisa so much, and having her back with us is, is such a joy. And she's she's always brought such life to our set. We break for lunch at 12, but 11.30, 11.45, she'll go, that's lunch, one hour! That's lunch, one hour! <laughs> We got that iconic moment back this week, so it's so great to have her back. You found a, a beautiful way to bring the character of Chelsea back. Our calls out to Nia, our calls out to Tess, our calls out to Levi. Are we gonna see these faces come back? We have calls out to everyone that has ever been a part of the Raven Baxter family, even from the original show to now. So there are lots of calls out. Some people have voicemails, some people still have two ways. So as long as we can, you know, speak QWERTY, I'm sure we're good, I don't know. <laughs> T9, I love that. You know, T9 moment. Have you guys connected with, with those actors? Would you want to see them come back for an episode or two? I think work, being able to work with those characters who came before would be absolutely amazing. I personally have not met any of them, but I would love to because I think that I respect them wholeheartedly and I think they're awesome. Mm -hmm. And to work with them would just be the ultimate crossover and yes, a joy. Yes. Okay, what do you think? Nia comes back, maybe Tess comes back. You down for it? I'm there, man. Like, let's yeah. do it. That'd be, that'd be fun. Yeah. Maybe if one of them had a little thing with Neil. I think that would cause some shenanigans Ooh. with uh, with Booker. He probably wouldn't like his sister and Neil together. Could you imagine Nia and Neil? God, it rolls right off the tongue. It sounds so perfect. Right? No, I, no, I, it would be great for them to come. I've met a few of them in real life. Yeah, they're very, very sweet people, so it'd be great to finally get to work with them. Are you in touch with any of those actors? Would you love to see them come back to the show? 
I mean, I would love to have them on like an episode, a couple of episodes. That would be so much fun. Of course, Auntie Ray is always video chatting with Nia, seeing that keep she's like staying with her dad and you know following on the rules and whatnot. So. Yeah, but that would be so much fun to have them on the show. And I'm a huge fan, so yeah. We've seen our fair share of Booker getting into trouble, but I'm really liking seeing Booker the ladies man. All clear. <laughs> Looking good, Kim. What can you tell me about the love story there that might unfold? Well, around 16, 17, we all get into our little relationships. We're all trying to figure things out. I feel like she's a really good match for his energy because she's she's kind of chill and toned back. And, you know, Booker's always on 10. So it's nice for him to have someone who's, you know, kind of chill and laid back. But, yeah, growing up, he's he's changing. He's maturing. So it's it's nice getting to play him. Of course. And, and with growing up and with more love in his life, I mean, can you tease? Is there going to be a kiss at some point in season five? We actually filmed two kisses. I don't know which one they're gonna use. Um, whichever one comes out when y'all see it, let me know. So, <laughs> I mean, as, as an actor, is that your first on-screen kiss? It was. How did that feel? I was, you know what's crazy? Marissa Reyes, who plays Cami, she kept telling me I was being weird. <laughs> like, I was like, good no, because I was so chill throughout the week. I was like, man, am I true? Am I tripping on a kissing where I got? And then like when the, it was the last scene of the day, like we had gone all day, no one talked about it really. Not to me. Mm -hmm. No one said anything. I was like, yeah, Isaac got it, Isaac got it, cool. When we got there, I was like, okay, you good? You you need um you need I need a a mint. Let's get a. And it was it was literally like four or five seconds. It was. Sounds like you were prepared. Yeah.